Well, here's the, the transom for for the back of my yacht. But I just thought it might be interesting um, what the process I use to get it clean, ready, ready to paint. That, that grey surface you can see on the plate there, that, that looks nice and clean and shiny, but that actually has to be removed. It's called mill scale. And it's, um, it's a very hard material which is left over from the process of rolling the plate in the factory. Um, and this, this grey mill scale is extremely hard. It's, uh, it's almost like ceramics. It's the closest I can, I can describe it to in texture and, and the properties of it. It's like a ceramic coating. It's extremely hard. And if you try and sand it off or, or even grind it off with a grinder, the discs just tend to slip over the surface of it it's very hard to get it off but um, I discovered through a bit of research on the internet quite a while back that um, hydrochloric acid really does the job well so what I use is a bit of diluted hydrochloric acid in water and just spread it over there and leave it for a few minutes and it just dissolves into a powder and it just washes off but um other than that, if you try and clean it off by hand, it takes hours to remove, and it's extremely hard to get off. So um, I'll show you a bit more in a minute of, of when I spread the acid, and you can see what happens when I wipe it off afterwards. So what I've got here is uh, about three quarters of a bucket of water. Tip a bit of that out. And to that, I'm going to add some bog standard swimming pool hydrochloric acid. Now, this is pretty dangerous stuff, so you've got to be very careful. And a tip for anybody who ever needs to, to do this, um, it's actually used for cleaning brickwork as well and stuff like that, but you must always add the acid to water, not vice versa. If I put the acid in there first and add water to it, I risk splashing the acid out and it's extremely dangerous. But by putting water in first and slowly adding the acid second, it's a much safer process. So I've got this acid ready, all I'm going to do is get a bit and just pour it onto this steel and then I'm just going to brush it, get a normal household broom and just spread the acid out over the surface and it won't take very long before you'll see that the colour will change As the acid starts to dissolve the, the mill scale on the surface. <coughs> Sorry if I'm wandering with the camera a bit there. There you go, straight away. You can see that speckle effect there, look. In the surface of the steel. It won't take long before this mill scale will dissolve completely. It saves me hours and hours and hours of, of work, of grinding and cleaning. And I can just wash acid water across it. And of course once it's clean enough to, to finish off with a, a stripping disc or a sanding disc or something like that. There you go, look at that. That's incredible. Saves so much time. Just keep spreading it around. So Google is your best friend. When you need to know about stuff like this, that's the place to find it. Obviously you can't leave this acid on, you can't leave it on for too long because it'll eat right into the surface of the plate. But it certainly, by diluting it, it's certainly safe and uh, convenient to just use it to remove the, the surface. Look at that. Unbelievable. Now I reckon if I was to clean this by hand, it would take me two to three hours each side. So it would be a day's work to clean that plate of mill scale. 
So there you go. That's almost completely gone. We've gone like to the light silver from that dark grey. And then all I do now is get a hose and just wash the acid and excess off. It comes off really well. You see all the residue there in that brush. Got to make sure you get it all off, otherwise it will um, it will damage the plate rather than just clean it. Now what will happen because this plate's been chemically clean, I don't know why exactly, but as soon as this water evaporates, it will rust immediately. It will get a brown film on the surface, but that's that's nothing, that's not a problem at all. Once the plate dries, once this is finished, I'll take it up to the workshop, and um, all I'll need to do is buff it over with a, with a grinder and uh, just a, a stripping disc, like a, just a polishing or slight sanding disc. And that will remove any of the, the light rust that forms on the surface and then I can just spray paint straight over it. And it saves me so much time as I said. There you go, all done. There's the second side, just um, same process, just soaked it and rubbed it off with a brush. That's ready for hosing off again. And that's probably the whole process has taken me probably 20 minutes. And there you go. You can see that rust I mentioned earlier that builds up as soon as the plate starts to dry off. And uh, on the other side, not so bad on this side, but just starting to go a little off colour. So I'll leave it in the sun for a minute, three minutes, and then I'll just buff it off with a uh, a nylon stripping disc, and then I can spray straight over that, just primer, and get it ready to to tack weld in place and start welding it on. <laughs> 